years I was running from these people, dude. Spread your legs. I'm not gonna ask you again. I what the hell, man? Don't do dude, it. You're hiding my Don't be trying to my stuff either. And then grab it on you, dude. Let me the go, oh, man. All you have to do is cooperate. You're hurting me, baby. If you were worried about you wouldn't be out stealing. You don't know or what taking either. You just need to check oh, you're my Good. Are you gonna stop? No. This is the moment when things get really physical to the point where the female officer threatens to break this pregnant woman's arm. Such behavior violates the principle of professional conduct, ethical standards, and basic human rights. Do not kick me. 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 If you kick me again, I swear to God, I'll break your arm. Wow. Yes, she of course kicked me and she wasn't following me by instructions. If you are pregnant, then you will behave. Grab her arm so I can finish so she... You just said let her go. Now you're saying to grab her arm. That's all I needed to do and you were acting like an idiot. I can't even... None of that would have happened if you wouldn't have kicked me. All you needed to do is spread your legs. It's not my fault I found drugs on you. I can't even Stand up. The officer finally gets the woman inside the cop car, but this is when the outcome took a downward spiral. Let's pay attention to how hard the pregnant woman kicks the cop and judge if it justifies the female cop to jump a pregnant woman while being handcuffed. I don't take drugs. Yes, you do. That's why you had a Xanax in your bra. God, dude, I can be stuck. God damn. It's not gonna have anything to do with me, sweetheart. You dragged me on the floor! Watch out! Kicking me! I didn't kick you! Stop kicking me! Get around! You punched me like 10 times on my fucking. Please! Get on the ground! Please don't do anything! Get on the ground! Why did you hit me like that? Because you deserve it! The female officer now starts telling a little bit of her side of the story, but notice how all the officers pretty much want nothing to do with what just happened. Yeah, she always kept trying to put her arm in, she went like that, her leg, and she kicked me. She kicked me when I was holding her too. Dude, but like, it almost seemed like this officer was looking for that. Like she was trying to find a way to punch her. Was it Xanax? For sure. I was gonna punch her in her side because that's what I normally do. Huh? Is there another wagon coming down here? I don't know. I just realized she didn't even know the wagon. She just accused her of just having it. Like. By continuously threatening the woman, this police officer is just putting her own job at risk. Again, it violates the code of conduct and ethical standards expected of law enforcement officers. Also, such behavior can even result in legal consequences. Hey, I punched you in the face a couple times. I'll do it again, too. Dude. Yeah, you guys are talking yeah, because you can yeah. generate another right. Yeah. Will you, are you going to take a picture of the use of force, too, or no? Yeah, she kicked me. She actually kicked me twice. Because I already got this and that. So. 320 also, can we get another CSI or UEDI on the way out here? All right, let's just hear this female side of the story because to be honest, we still haven't heard the full thing. And who knows, maybe she can find a way to justify herself for punching a pregnant woman multiple times. So I was searching her 
even when I searched her, she had drugs in her bra. I'm like, hey, stand still. She's like, can you pull my shirt down? And she started pulling at her shirt, so I thought maybe she had some more shit in there because I pulled her bra out. I was like, stop messing with your shirt. And she's like, I, she's like, can't you pull it down? I was like, when I'm done, I will fix you. Stand still. Stop moving around. So she keeps fidgeting. And I said, stop moving. And then I told her, turn around and spread your legs. So when she spread them, she only spread them like this, which isn't far enough for me to check. I was like, spread your legs. She's like, my hip hurts. I was like, spread your legs. So she's not following my instructions. So I'm assuming she's got something on her. And she, like, tries to spin on me. I'm like, that's enough. So I grab her arm and I push her up against the car. She won't stop. So I'm holding on to her. I'm like, spread your legs. And she kept on it. She kept on it. She horse kicked me. Where? Right in my knee. I have a footprint from her dirty feet. Look. Yes. Yeah. She's on the other side, Daryl. I don't know if maybe it's better. Uh, I should have known. <laughs> it is ironic to listen to this female police officer telling a story about using physical force, especially against a woman who's pregnant. As a law enforcement officer, the primary duty is to protect and de-escalate situations, not use violence. She did it twice when I was putting her in. I was like, get in the car, get in the car. She freaking went like that and kicked me again. I'm like, that's it. I was going to punch her in her side because they say don't hit him in the face. I freaking hit her in the face. Uh, I let the first one go. But not the second one. She barely kicked you. She's fine. You're fine. Didn't call somebody else to, uh, to check her, but all we did was lay her on the ground. We didn't slam her. Start fire. Start fire, please. She's fine. She's faking it. Look, her eyes are open. As soon as I said that, she opened her eyes. I'm sorry, you're not coming down on my radio. Uh, we just need fire up here. Are they just onlookers? Yeah. They're in that stolen truck and they were stealing stuff from this apartment over here. Officer Montoya was fired later from the San Antonio Police Department in 2019, but then was rehired by the Elmendorf Police Department. So it just goes to show you that these police stations will do almost anything to keep these tyrants.